Hey everyone, I'm Eris. Uh, Brooke was helping me out today, and we talked a little bit about kind of connection and communication and making the dance work at a little bit of a higher level and more detail, and then also about widths. So the very first thing we talked about was spacing, and I noticed that as a default, I think all of the leaders were kind of turning everything into a floating anchor and just kind of moving toward their followers all the way until six, -ish, right? So the idea of this is, again, on the most basic level, stretch comes from followers. So I need to give my follower a place to stretch away from. I'm gonna stop moving on four and she's gonna keep moving back, all right? Now, how far we move back depends on our frames for both leaders and followers. The drill we used was just kind of making sure that if I'm following, and you just stay here, um, I started at about like a 90 degree angle with my elbow, I put my free hand on my shoulder, and I just moved back until I found the place where like, if I took another step back, I would lose my frame. So this is pretty much as far away as I should get from my leader. We used to do the same thing, we started about 90 degrees, and with our followers already at the natural extension point, as they moved away and she takes my hand from me, I'm gonna stop at a certain point before I lose my own frame. So we kind of put that together, and in our basics, we made sure that we were both finding this position of stretch, you know, kind of far enough, but not too far on all of our basics. And again, it comes from the leaders stop moving forward at a certain point, that means the hand stops moving, and followers are filling out that space, all right? We talked a little bit about being patient and not uh, anticipating, and the idea of that was kind of finding our same frame and pitch with the followers' eyes closed, we didn't leave the connection as we took tiny steps back, not even leading patterns, right? But just kind of staying in this, we call it hanging back position, right? We talked about how this should normally last until around two, and then we're gonna switch. It might switch to compression, right? Or it might switch to tension on the other side. One, two, we're changing. Yeah, we're kind of changing from back toward one wall to back toward the other wall for follows. That's how we do that. And that really helps with, um, being patient and not anticipating. Again, everyone's a little bit different, but thinking about hanging back through two is, is a great baseline to start from. We talked a little bit about hand holds. Um, first, from the leader's perspective, just making sure that we don't have this overly flexed, kind of like tight wrist where we have these straight lines here and here, and just making sure that we have a straight line more along the top, so relaxing here, and also opening up the wrist a little bit. We're trying to connect with the base of these two fingers. Followers, kind of similarly, I'm just resting my hands on top. My wrist is relaxed. I'm not pushing down to find connection, but I'm resting my hand on my leader. And we said it was kind of like carrying a tray, right? So this grip should be fairly deep, and we had you do it kind of to yourselves with the base of your, your fingers connecting. Um, but we can also be a little bit more relaxed here. and also encourages followers to stretch and find connection. If as a leader, I have this slightly open, more inviting handle, Again, I don't mean open as in like we're on our fingertips, but open as in I'm not like closed off like this. And the same thing for followers. The less we T-Rex, the better we can connect, all right? Um, and then we kind of started talking about whips. At least I think that was kind of our segue. Um, we talked about this kind of stylized version of a whip that I thought kind of helped with um, just some basic struggles that people tend to have with making whips work. We started off with closed position. So I'm just making sure that followers are connecting into the hand, but not doing it by leaning back, right, which is going to potentially overbalance the leaders, but with just the hips going back, right? So we're connecting with our center still, just like we would an open, even though the connecting hand is kind of high on the shoulder. And we just made sure that we could find this connection and shift side to side and close. And then we went over the footwork or foot plan for it. Um, so followers, we kind of have this forward, forward and turning, back, half step back, Place, just placing on four, shifting forward on four and before turning around, okay? And for leaders as a baseline, we have stepping off side of the 45, hooking in front, back, side, forward, also waiting on four before turning around. And the key element of this is, we'll show from this side, making sure that we're waiting on four. So if I stopped us on four, neither of us are committed to this leg yet. We have this perpendicular angle here, I'm on my right, she's on her left on four and we're stepping across leaders and we have that one step down this way. We talked about followers having the agency and power to take multiple steps back, where we go forward, forward and turn, back, back place for follows, and how leaders need to come to absorb with them, potentially adjusting that footwork, which gives us a slightly more accelerated width as well, because the followers are really loading that connection. We mentioned briefly, we didn't talk about it much, how 
really for leaders, two and four are very adjustable distance-wise on a lot of patterns, but especially whips. And how if my follower barely travels forward, I might take my two forward to try to find this connection with them. Or if they're traveling a lot, I might take my two back, right? So that's kind of how some of these adjustments work. Um, we talked a little bit about the idea of putting your own oxygen mask on first and worrying about your own dance, the idea that um, you won't be everyone's favorite person to dance with, and you really kind of need to worry about just making things functional rather than trying to adjust to be everyone's favorite partner. Yeah, like thinking about your own slot, frame, space, and connection rather than some kind of exact thing that you're replicating with every person. Yeah? Hopefully it was fun for you guys. Hopefully you got something out of it. Thank you so much.